Efforts to modernize the Garden Hills Park with green energy were inconvenienced today as culprits apparently removed an essential piece of equipment. Well, our LaDawn Davis visited the park this afternoon and tells us that the area MP as well as residents are concerned about the theft taking place at that facility. Garden Hills No. 1, which is nestled in the heart of the community, is always used for family fun-filled activities. But on Monday morning, resident Charles Green discovered that a solar panel worth thousands of dollars and facilitates the lighting fixtures to the park's restroom was missing. It was there yesterday morning, all day yesterday. Discovered this morning missing, check it, break in the place. Man, that's a waste of money. Area Member of Parliament Dr. Kendall Major says while he is not sure if robbers, residents or passers-by committed this crime, he is asking whoever is responsible for stealing this piece of crucial equipment from the park to cease immediately. Very closely we found that the door was jimmied and destroyed and they got entrance and they cut the wires and they took the solar panel which is about an $8,000 investment. And this, is, this has only been here since um, November of last year. And so we were very, very disheartened by that because we've had a couple of attempted burglaries before and we've had bathroom fixtures even burglarized in prior instances. And so something needs to be done with all of this, the, um, um, the, the menace that these young thugs are creating in our society today. Mr. Major says he is thinking about beefing up security to keep a close eye on this park. We ought to look at perhaps having our, our wardens to to man these places, to act as security guards at all times. And it's a pity we have to do that, but I would suggest that. And of course, CCTV, which I certainly will invest in for all the aspects of the, of the community because something has to be done and this has gone just a bit too far. Additionally, Major says thousands of dollars are spent to maintain the park on a monthly basis, and this is just another setback. He's also of the view that persons stealing solar panels are reselling them to residents for a cheaper price. He maintains police are actively investigating this matter, and those persons found guilty of purchasing the item should also be fined and or charged. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.